Here we have a set math question. Okay, let's go the information. We have our data set A and data set B in the histograms over here. Two data sets of 23 integers each are summarized in the histogram shown. For each of the histograms, the first interval represents a frequency of integers greater than or equal to 10, but less than 20. The second interval represents a frequency of integers greater than or equal to 20, but less than 30, and so on. What is the smallest possible uh, difference between the mean of data set A and uh, mean of data set B? So uh, the target of the question is to find the smallest possible difference between uh, the mean of data set A and the uh, mean of data set B. And also one more information we have to understand very carefully. So when I look at the information over here, for example, if I consider uh, the histogram we have for data set A, the first interval is 20, uh, between 20 and 30. So that means uh, we have to consider the integers greater than or equal to 20, but less than 30. That's what uh, they have mentioned over here. So greater than or equal to 20, but less than 30. So that means when it comes to the first interval, you can include uh, the 20 over here, but we cannot include 30. We have to consider the integer, which is less than 30. So that is uh, up to 29. So in the first interval, we can consider the integers from 20 to 29. In the second interval, so we can consider the integers greater than or equal to 30, but less than 40. That is from 30 to 39, we have to consider in the second interval. So for the third interval, uh, we have to consider the integers uh, greater than or equal to 40, but less than 50, that is up to 49. That means from 40 to 49, uh, the integers we can consider for the third interval. And the same thing we can, we can consider for the next interval as well. So the same thing, uh, we have to do it uh, for data set B in this histogram. So here the first interval, we have uh, uh, between 10 and 20. That is uh, the integers which are greater than or equal to 10, but less than 20. That means up to 19. So in the fourth interval, we have the integers from 10 to 19. The second integer, we have the interval, we have the integers uh, from 20 to 29. In the third interval, we have the integers from 30 to 39. And in the fourth interval, we have the integers uh, from 40 to 49. Okay, so when our data sets are uh, summarized in histograms, uh, what we can do is uh, for each data set over here, we can find two possible means. One is uh, the smallest possible mean, and the other one is uh, the greatest possible mean. How, how is it possible? How to find uh, the two means uh, for uh, each data set? So for example, for data set A, if I find, if I want to find the smallest possible mean, what I need to do is how to consider the left hand point of uh, each vertical bar over here. So there are four vertical bars. For the first vertical bar, what is the left hand point? 20. So I, 20 is included. Already we have, uh, we, have go, we have gone over the information in the question. 20 is included. So 20 is the left hand point of the first vertical bar. This 20 has to be multiplied by its uh, corresponding frequency. That's nothing but the height of the bar. Here it's 3. So the left hand point of the first vertical bar in data set A, that is 20 has to be multiplied by its uh, frequency. So then we get uh, 3 times uh, 20 positive. What is the left hand point of the second vertical bar? It's 30, it's corresponding, corresponding frequency is 40. So that is four times of 40 in this way. So we have to get uh, the values for uh, all the four vertical bars and it has to be divided by uh, the number of integers uh, we have. Uh, so uh, the question says each data set has 23 integers. It has to be divided by the number of integers. So this will give the smallest possible mean for data set A. So because I just consider the left end point for each vertical bar. In case, if I want to find uh, the greatest possible mean for data set A, what should I do? I have to consider the right end point for each vertical bar. So if I consider uh, the first vertical bar, what is the right end point? Is it 30? No. So because already we have uh, discussed, so the first interval is uh, between 20 gamma 30. That means uh, we can consider the integers from 20 to 29. So that means the first interval represents the greater than or equal to 20, but less than 30. That is up to 29. So the right hand point of the first vertical bar is 29. So that 29 has to be multiplied by the corresponding frequency. Again, uh, 30, 30, sorry, not 33. So three times or 29. What is the right hand point uh, of the second vertical bar? It's not 40, it has to be less than 40, that is 39. So that 39 has to be multiplied by the corresponding frequency. So four times uh, 39, in this way we have to find the values and divided by the total number of integers, 23. So this is a, this gives the smallest possible mean for data set A and this gives the largest possible mean, I mean greatest possible mean for data set A. So in this way we can find the smallest possible mean and the greatest possible mean, uh, two possible means for data set A and the same thing we can do for data set B. So for each data set, I mean for data set A we get two possible means, smallest, greatest. And for data set B also we get uh, two possible means, smallest and greatest. So finally, we have to find the smallest possible difference between the mean of data set A and mean of data set B. So how do we have to find this one? Okay, let me write the request of over here. Okay, first uh, let me consider uh, data set B. 
So the reason is actually data set B and data set A, both of them have the same shape when you look at the histogram. So, but data set B will have uh, the smallest mean compared to data set A. So, because the spread of data set B is from 10 to 50. Uh, but if you consider data set A, the spread is from 20 to 60. So, definitely uh, the mean of data set B will be smaller than the mean of data set A because it contains a smaller value, smaller integer values so from 10 to 50. But data set A, larger integer values from 20 to 60. So uh, first I'm taking the data set uh, which contains smaller values, that is a data set B. So for data set B, I find the two possible means as I explained already, that is uh, smallest uh, possible mean and the other one is uh, greatest uh, possible mean. And for data set A, so it contains larger values and for this one also I find uh, the smallest uh, possible mean and uh, greatest uh, possible mean. Okay, but our aim is uh, to find the smallest possible difference between the mean of data set A and mean of data set B. So smallest possible difference. So when I want to find the smallest possible difference between the means of two data sets, so I have to find the difference between the greatest uh, of a data set B and the smallest of data set, I mean greatest mean of data set uh, B, the smallest uh, mean of uh, data set A. Because this is the shortest distance uh, between the uh, means of uh, the two data sets. So now, uh, so we have to find the difference between the greatest mean, greatest possible mean of data set B and the smallest possible mean of data set A. So that gives the smallest possible difference between, uh, smallest uh, possible difference between the mean of data set A and the mean of data set B according to the question. Okay, now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the greatest possible mean of data set uh, B. To find the greatest possible mean of data set B, uh, so what I need to do is uh, for each vertical bar in the histogram of data set B, I have to consider the right end point. For the first vertical bar, uh, I mean the interval of the first vertical bar is uh, 20 to 30, and its right end point is actually is not 20. So because according to the information we have, uh, the first interval uh, represents a frequency of integers greater than or equal to 10, uh, but less than 20. Less than 20 means you have to consider 19 because 19 is the integer which is uh, less than 20. So the right end point of the first vertical bar in uh, data set B is 19. So it has to be multiplied by its uh, corresponding frequency that is the height of the bar which is 3. So we have 3 times uh, 19 positive. Now I have to consider the right end point of the second vertical bar. So which is uh, not 30, uh, less than 30 that is 29. So 29 has to be multiplied by its corresponding frequency that is 4 times uh, 29 positive and uh, the right hand point of the third vertical bar is uh, the integer is, is less than 40 that is 39 it has to be multiplied by the corresponding frequency that is 7 so 7 times uh, 39 positive uh, the right hand point of the fourth vertical bar over here is uh, the integer which is less than 50 that's 49 49 has to be multiplied by its corresponding frequency that is uh, 9 so 9 times uh, 49 and uh, so we have to divide to find the mean we have to divide by the number of integers uh, we have in data set B so according to the question, uh, we have 23 integers in each data set, data set A, data set B. So we have 23 integers in data set B. So this result has to be by uh, 23. Okay, now we have to evaluate the values we have at the top over here. When I multiply this three times 19, it will be 57. Uh, when I multiply uh, this uh, four times uh, uh, 19, I'm getting uh, 116. And when I multiply this seven and 39, I'm getting 273. And when I multiply this nine and 49, I'm getting 441 and it has to be divided by 23. So when I add all these values over here, I'm getting uh, 887 over uh, 23. Okay, now I got the greatest possible mean of uh, data set uh, B. So as we have discussed already, now I have to find uh, the smallest possible mean of data set A. Okay, let me write the request of over here. To get the smallest possible mean of data set A, so I just have to consider the histogram that we have for data set A. So in the histogram for each vertical bar, I have to consider the left hand points because to find the smallest possible mean of data set A, I have to consider the left hand point. So left hand points means I can consider this 20 because uh, uh, the question says the first central represents uh, the integers greater than or equal to 20 but less than 30. So greater than or equal to 20 means the 20 is included. So left hand point means 20 has to be multiplied by its corresponding frequency 3. So that means uh, 3 times uh, 20. And for the second vertical bar, the left hand point is 30. So because uh, this interval represents greater than or equal to 30, the integer is greater than or equal to 30, but less than 40. So greater than or equal to means 30 can be in, uh, included. So this 30 has to be multiplied by the corresponding frequency for the second vertical bar. That's nothing but the height of the bar, that is 4. So positive 4 times uh, 30, positive 
and for the third vertical bar the left hand point is 40 it has to be multiplied by its corresponding uh, frequency which is uh, 7 that is 7 times of uh, 40 positive and for the fourth vertical bar the left hand point is 50 it has to be multiplied by its uh, corresponding frequency which is uh, 9 so 9 times of uh, 50 so then this result has to be by the number of integers we have in the data set that's 23 according to the information okay now well, let's evaluate with this one 3 times 20 is uh, 60 positive 4 times 30 is uh, 120 and 7 times uh, 40 is 280 Positive 9 times 50 is uh, 450 over 23 okay now let's all these values so when i add the values in numerator over here i'm getting a uh, 910 over 23 okay now i got the smallest possible mean of data set a that is uh, 910 over 23 okay now what i need to do is i have to find the difference uh, between the greatest possible mean of data set b uh, 887 over 23 and the smallest possible mean of data set a that is 910 over 23 so usually when I find the difference between the two values, uh, I subtract the smaller value from the bigger value. So clearly this is a smaller value, greatest possible mean of data set B. And uh, this is greater value, I mean larger value, that's the smallest possible mean of data set A. Okay, let me subtract this 887 over 23 from this uh, 910 over 23. So 910 over 23, negative uh, 887 over 23. So here for the, in the subtraction of these two fractions, we have the same denominator 23. So we can take the common denominator 23 and we can subtract the numerators 9 and 10, negative uh, 887. So the difference between 9 and 10 and 887 is just 23 over uh, 23, 23 over 23 equals to 1. So the difference between the greatest possible mean of data set B and uh, smallest possible mean of data set A is just 1. So that's the smallest possible difference between uh, the mean of data set A and the mean of data set B. So that is 1. So we find 1 in option B. The correct answer choice for this question is option B.